Hola. Welcome. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. This morning we're doing Puerto Rican scramble with shrimp. It's great food, great flavor, and everything is going to be really, really fast. You're just going to need dice, dice, green bell, pepper, to uh, pimentos, peppers. Diced tomato, egg shrimp, diced ham, and diced onion. Um, also, we're gonna need cheese, two kinds if you like two kinds, or mozzarella only if you like the one kind of a cheese only because so, we're different we all want to um, have um, different uh, likes my name is Figgy and um, we're going to be cooking breakfast scramble egg with a shrimp we have everything ready here in my pan ready to saute ready to add the ingredients let this bad boy cook Wait until everything gets uh, up and running. So now we're gonna add some butter. To the pan. Salt at this bad point. Then we're gonna add green bell peppers, no Anaheim. Green bell peppers. Then next we're gonna put diced tomato. <clears throat> we're gonna saute. Make sure it's kind of uh, uh, starting to get wilted. like it like really really crunchy some people like it really really like soft <clears throat> and wilted the key to have a fast food cooking experience is have everything pre-cut and pre-storage uh, I was gonna do a, a video um, pertaining to that and how fast you can cook five meals in one day, storage it, label, put date on it, and when you come home from work, all what you gotta do is pull it, cause rice has seven days on the shell life. See, so now that I'm, um, wow, it smells good. Now that it's um almost there, I'm gonna add my shrimp. That's it. And now you can see everything is nicely. Wow, that looks good. That looks really, really good. Wait until it gets um, a little bit. I always use plastic spoon because it doesn't scratch your your pan. Because uh, the Teflon, the Teflon comes out. So here you can see the ingredients, <clears throat> right here you can see the shrimp, diced ham, peppers, there's tomatoes right here, the smell is just great, it's Puerto Rican, I learned this in Puerto Rico a long time ago, 
It's my favorite breakfast. You can add shrimp or you can leave the shrimp out. You can add ingredients, you can remove ingredients. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put onions on it. Just play with the recipe. You know. Three eggs on it. Make sure that when you're doing the scramble eggs, make sure it's always completely dry. Because when the scramble eggs stay wet, that means that it's wrong and you cannot eat raw food. It makes you sick. It can give you many kinds of diseases, like E. coli. You see over here, look, look, right here, you see? That's raw. That's the reason why you go into it. You open that bad boy. Smash it. Really nice. Make sure that didn't put no salt on it because you don't need salt then you sprinkle favorite cheese in my case is mozzarella sprinkle it around if you like a lot of cheese go for it I love white cheese so I put a lot of it This is my food, I'm in my house. Cooking is different. But the cleanliness remains the same. See? Gonna put a lid. And we're gonna wait for the cheese to melt. Okay, look at that. Nice. <laughs> this is enough to feed two people, so <laughs> oh my god. I'm impressed. Me. Alright. Thank you for coming to my channel by the way. Look, look at that bad boy. Now, because this is a lot of food. So what I did with that cheese melt. I'm gonna put this bad boy over here. We're gonna thank the Lord for the loop, for the food that we got on a daily basis. Let's still got some. I put three eggs on it, by the way. So this is done. Thank you, Lord. Mango. <laughs> Look at this. Now, tell me, isn't this delicious?
Okay, thank you. Thank you for um, coming into my channel. Thank you for following my recipes. <laughs> thank you for everything you do. Appreciate it. This is Memorial Day weekend. I'm gonna pray that everything goes accordingly in the beach. I'm not going out because um, the coronavirus is still outside. Cheers. But cooking is really easy. See, I just did this. Look, loaded. Loaded with cheese. And you see, look at that. Look, look. It's Puerto Rican. Mmm. Wow. Mm hmm. I try to teach to cook Puerto Rican the easiest way as possible. Some of the, some of us right now we don't have time, but I believe that cooking those meals, one meal every day in a daily basis, you don't need to do that. Or what you did is one day, either Saturday and Sunday, bring everything out, do your menu, bring them out, cook them out, put labels, storage it. When you come home from, from, from work, you'll be ready. You don't need to be cooking every day. That was the old days. We don't do that anymore. We don't need to go and fetch water on the river. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> happy memorial. This is today's Saturday. It's the Memorial um, Day weekend. Thank you, everybody, for their services. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico till I was eight. Then after I was eight, I came to live in a United States Army military base out of Washington, Virginia. Arlington, Arlington, Virginia, right besides Washington, D.C. Anyways, uh, thank you for everybody who served this country. Um, thank you, God, for this nation of ours. You see what I got? The one who got my back. That's my Lord. That's my Jesus. So, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for um, um, listening and, and please don't forget to subscribe and just interact with me. Do you want me to do this in Spanish? Do you want me to do it in English? Because in Spanish people, they already know how to cook Puerto Rican food. I'm guessing. See, so, you know, a lot of Americans want to cook this at home or they don't have a restaurant, Puerto Rican restaurant around. And they want to cook it at home, so um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support, thank you for everything, and I look forward to be doing bigger and better menus, and recipes, and videos. Happy Memorial Day. God bless. Love you. Ciao.